Hi guys, we're going to look at some more LightWave 10 features. Right now I'm turning on the OpenGL fog and copying it to the perspective view from the camera. I'm also going to turn on our new alpha clipping mode for OpenGL for, for transparencies to really speed up the fly-throughs of complex scenes with transparency. I'm also going to turn on the store view here. It's a new feature for us. I'm going to explain why that's so useful in a minute. You notice we're in the perspective view. I'm using the 3D connection device now with a, a scene fully imported from FBX, a fairly complex scene flying through the scene. Um, I know Camtasia is probably not capturing this at the same smoothness that I can see it, but it's extremely smooth in the interface. I'm flying through, it's just like a first person uh, game through a complex scene. And this is a combination of a, of a very complex scene that was loaded from FBX with cameras and lights. And you can see now with the perspective fog, it's really not adding some nice atmospherics to this. But we get into this section, we get in, we're doing a, a location scout of a set, and basically we um, can look around the set, manipulate it, fly through very easily with just plug and play of the 3D connection device. Honestly, I didn't tweak the settings. But now if we wanted to get back to that stored view, just go to recall view from the view that we stored and it snaps back to the original setting that we added. So a very nice new feature that's in the interface, this save view and recall view is, is for any view that is not a camera view. So enjoy the new FBX, 3D connection, and store view and recall view functionality in LightWave 10.